Hello! Today we are going to talk about three Outlook calendar tips, which I think will help everyone get a little more out of the capabilities in Outlook's calendar system. First, I want to talk about meetings and why these are useful. So I'm going to demonstrate this on a Mac today, but the functionality is basically the same in the Windows version of Outlook. To create a meeting, I have two options. First, I can click on the New Items button right from my inbox and select the New Meeting item from the drop-down list. The other option is for when you're already in Calendar View, which you access from this menu down at the bottom of your screen. From here, you can just click on the button right on the ribbon that is labeled Meeting. Now, some people don't realize that meetings don't just affect you. They actively involve the people that you book the meeting with, along with their calendars. So why is this helpful? Well, instead of just marking a regular appointment in the calendar, when you make it a meeting with someone else in your organization, you can mark it on their calendars as well, making sure that everyone is on the same page regarding scheduling. You can also book out resources, such as a meeting room, which is very useful in organizations where these types of spaces need to be reserved. Next, we're going to look at appointments. When you make an appointment, you only affect your own calendar instead of someone else's. To make an appointment, just click on this appointment button in the ribbon at the top of the screen. Here, you can set a subject, location, and times for the appointment on your calendar. It's important to realize that you also can't book resources within the appointment mode, so you need to select Meeting if you need to book a resource. Finally, we're going to talk about events. You might notice that there is no separate button for events, but they are still a separate classification of calendar items. An event is an appointment that is scheduled to last for more than 24 hours. So if I take this appointment here and set it to end two days from now, such as I might do if attending a conference, it becomes an event instead. As you can see, the calendar marks this differently than regular appointments. Hopefully, getting a better understanding of how you can set these various types of calendar items within Outlook will help you make more efficient use of the powerful scheduling software. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.